guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to discuss another related coding question. That question was came on 23rd January. Okay, so now let's see the question. So this is our question, right? A shoe store manages identity of shoes in a day. He has three different models of shoes, and the maximum size of each shoe model is n1, n2, n3, respectively. In each model, the store has all the possible sizes from 1 to n. Okay, so this one is so important, and n can be n1, n2, or n3. Okay, so now the manager wants to build shoe racks such that each rack can have three shoes in it and they should not be the same size as shown below. No should any two racks have the same kind of arrangements. Okay, he wants to do so how many racks would be needed to be built. Okay, so in this paragraph, okay, you have the three important points. And what are the points? The first point is that each rack can have three shoes. Okay, second point is that should not be the same size okay the last point is that nor should any two rigs have the same kind of arrangements okay so suppose let's take this example okay here this is your n1 okay this is your n2 okay and this is your n3 okay and here n1 is equals to 3 n2 is also equals to 3 okay and n3 is also equals to 3 okay so what is my first point is that the store has all the possible sizes from 1 to n okay and n can be n1 n2 or n3 means for n1 means this is your n1 okay this is your first n1 right this is your n1 so for n1 you have what are the possible values from 1 to n1 and 1 to n1 means 1 2 3 right for n2 you have all the possible values for 1 comma 2 comma 3 right and for n3 what are your possible values 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay so i think it's clear so the, what is the next point is that each rake can have three shoes okay as you can see all they have the three shoes right and what is the uh, second point is that in uh, each rig you have all the different sizes means the same size shoes is also not possible right just a second um okay so what is your next point is that uh the same size is also not possible means here okay that's the second is it your n1 is your n2 okay and this is your n3 okay so now the same size is not possible that means it is not possible as you have this kinds of arrangement this is also not possible 3 3 3 or 2 2 2 is also not possible okay means the sizes must be different and um this is also not possible like you will create these types of arrangements like 2 2 3 okay this is also not possible all the sizes must be different okay and what is the last point is that um, the arrangement must be different means you have already created this 1 comma 2 comma 3 now you cannot create again 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay means the uh, arrangement is must be distinct they have don't have any repetition okay i think it's clear so now let's see some example then you will get it better so this is your uh, first example okay this three is n1 this is n2 this is n3 okay and your output is 6 because um this is your all the replays that you can create okay means this uh replays is follow all the four conditions what are the four conditions is that n1 value is possible from one comma two comma three because uh in one value is three right means as you can see all the possible sizes is from one to n right and n can be n1 n2 or n3 right so that's why for n1 what is the possible value one two three for n3 same okay for n3 also same okay and what is the second point is that all the um rigs they have the three shoes right and what is the second point is that in each rig they have different sizes shoes right you can see that they don't have any same size shoes right and the last point is that they don't have any repetition in the arrangements as you can see they don't have any repetition okay and also you can see there don't have like these types of enemy 3 comma 3 comma 3 is also not possible okay as you can see they don't have any these types of arrangements right so that's why your answer is 6 why so if you just count all the 
triplets you will get six one two three four five six okay total six types of triplets you will get okay i think this question is clear too now this is second example in the second example this is your n1 value this is your n2 value and this is your n3 value okay and your output is one because you cannot kill any other triplet because um, your n1 is one means uh, you cannot get any further triplets okay so now if you just take in for in two you take one one then now these two sizes are same but you cannot uh, take two same sizes shoes right that's why you cannot get these uh, types of arrangement also you can get only one one comma two comma three okay for n1 if you take n1 for n1 you take one okay for n2 you can take for n2 what is the potential value sir one comma two okay so now you can take one or two right but you cannot take one because if you take one one then these types of combination will form but obviously you don't want right because in our course they told us that you cannot take the same size shoes right so you cannot take for n3 you can uh, for n3 you can take one comma two comma three right but and for n1 you will take one comma two comma three but you cannot get any deep players right why so because for n1 you can get only one okay if you just take this two then you cannot take this one now because now this one are one are same if you now take for n1 is one obviously because they are they have only one possible value is one right if you take two then if you just take this two then also you cannot create now if you just take one and then you have like a uh, two and then you take three then only is possible that's why your answer is one because this is only possible one triplet okay i think this is clear to you if you have any question you can definitely ask me in the comment section so now let's see how we can solve this problem so i solved this problem in java but I okay so now i come to my eclipse id so at first i just take the n1 into n3 value from the user okay and i just pass this n1 into n3 value from this solve method right so in this solve method i will do all the necessary operation to solve this question so now although you can think like the question is so hard but the thing is solution is so easy means i will use only four loops to solve this question okay like four in i equals to one okay means if you can remember in our question they are told us that all the possible values are possible for one two n one n two or n three means one two n one for n one for n two from one two n two for n three from one two n three right so here a is equals to n one here b is equals to n two and here c is equals to n three okay so now i is less than or equals to a okay and i plus plus okay and then for in j is equals to one j less than equals to b and j plus plus okay for in k is equals to one k less than equals to c okay and k plus plus and then if i not equals to j and j not equals to k and k not equals to i then only i will increment this count variable okay and at the end i just return this count okay so now let's run this code so 3 comma 3 comma 3 as you can see our output is 6 okay so uh, let's take the another example was One comma two comma three, okay one. So first point is that all the possible values are from one to n, and here n is can be from n one into or n three, right? So that's why I use the for loop, okay. And take this example to understand this code better, okay. N one is n one equals to is one, n two is equals to is two, okay, and n three is equals to is three. Right. What is your first value? I is equals to one. Right. For each i value, this for loop is executing from one to b. Okay. So now your j is one. Right. So for each j value, this for loop is executing from one to c. Okay. 
so now k is equals to 1 okay and now your k is also equals to 1 so now see if condition or x equals because here i is equals to equals to j and j is equals to equals to k and also k is equals to equals to i it's not possible right because all are same so it is not possible so after that what is your next k value is what 2 right and also this is not possible because now your combination is 1 1 2 also not possible because here these two values are same not possible after that you will get k is equals to uh, 3 right but now again this is not possible because now again these two values are same this is not possible this deep plate right so after that now this value is totally executed because what is the possible value from 1 to c and what is the c value 3 for now it means that this value is executing from 1 to 3 right so now this value is totally executed so after that now your j value is become 2 okay if your j value is become 2 now your value is also executing from 1 to c so now again this k is 1 okay so now your value is k 2 1 not possible that's what is your next value is 2 right now your k value is increment now incremented by 1 so now k value is 2 now it is also not possible you cannot take value is 3 right so now it is possible because i is not equals to j and j is not equals to k and k is also not equals to i all are different now you can increment this count variable right count is equals to 1 okay so after that your j value now your j is equals to 3 and now this uh, for loop will not execute because now j value is greater than b value right it's not possible so after that this for loop will execute now i will increment by 2 okay so now i value is greater than a so now again this for loop will not execute so now we will just come out from this for loop at the end we will just print this count value okay so now value is 1 okay see so all this process is going on i take the small example why so because if we just uh, take this example like n1 is equals to 3 n2 is equals to 3 then you then be a long process that's why i just take the small example to describe this code i hope this code is totally clear to you if you have any question you can definitely ask me in the comment section okay and thanks tough luck for your exam so thanks for watching see you in the next video